What is going on? Judd Burden here with Asphalt Kingdom. And this is a special evening tonight that we're recording this. You guys are all in for a treat. I'm here with Rod Hilton, uh, owner of Express Asphalt Solutions. And let me tell you, um, Rod, I'll tell you this, man. You're, you're an inspiration to me. Um, each step of the way of your journey, because I've watched you go from literally just entering the industry to building a, a beast of a business in a short period of time, man. And I know with, well, I'll put it this way without further ado, let me just take it away, Rod, like tell people a little bit about yourself, man, tell them where you come from, talk to them how you're real. And people just want to know about what's, what the scoop is, uh, in your world. Absolutely. Uh, name Rodney Hilton. Uh, from Lorain, Ohio, and um, started this amazing journey uh, on YouTube, just surfing one day, came across the, uh, a YouTube video of how you can make $100 an hour. And uh, that is from Judd at Asphalt Kingdom. So I didn't pay no attention to it. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, it's one of them, uh, another ads to link you in to get you to another ad. So uh, the next day I was on YouTube, surfed again, and it popped up again. I said, well, you know, let me check this out real quick. So I logged logged on to it, clicked on to it, and all of a sudden there's a video. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that one video got me interested in another video, and then another video, and then another video. So then I said, well, you know what? There's nothing in my area but one company that does this. Let me do my homework on this and check it out and see exactly how it's going on here. So after I did that, that's when I contacted Judd at Asphalt Kingdom and asked him some questions. And uh, it's pretty much history after that. But I can say if it wasn't for Judd Burton, there would be no Express Asphalt Solutions. Do you really so, mean that? Like when you say that often, but do you really mean that, brother? A hundred percent. Because I went, into, I went into this totally, totally blind, unknown about anything in the industry, about nothing. And if it wasn't for all your information and your phone calls, we talked back and forth and we emailed and we texted and, you know, all the above, uh, you has been an inspiration to me from day one. You're the one that pushed me when I had my doubts because I didn't know nothing about this industry. You, you know, how many times do you jump into something brand new that you have no idea about and succeed? You know, but you have to, you have to keep stepping forward. You have to remain positive. Positive, 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 the whole way. Never look back. It's always stepping forward, and you will achieve your dreams. Man, this is this to me. So you you already know, but like the pay it forward movement, like this is this is truly one of the most um, magical things that can happen in my life. Is when when you know. Here's the thing. A lot of people spend time on marketing and sales and, and they do it because they want to fill their bank account. Like that's right. why, why they do it. Now we're all in business because we want to make money. Right. Uh, but there's way more to it than that. And, and so when, when you say what you're saying right now and people are listening to what you're saying, and I know that you're going to influence based upon what you're saying, you're influencing other people to search for creating that possibility of they can create their dreams and turn them into a reality as well. And so for you to say this right now is more meaningful than you may know because of the number of people that we're impacting right now. And so Rodney, I, I am truly, truly grateful for, for the shares. I'd love to, I'd love to dig in. So when you first started out in the industry, you were completely wet behind the ears. You had no idea about pay, pavement or did you know about pavement? No, I didn't know nothing about pavement. Um, of course, you see uh, seal coating going on everywhere. And you see, you know, patch repair through the cities that you drive through and uh, paving other companies that are paving on the roads that you drive on, you know, but it never crossed my mind that I would actually be in this industry after all these years. Um, so wow. what I did was, again, I referred back to you again. Um, that's why I give you all the light because um, all your videos on YouTube um, is uh, a, a piece of, it's a piece of knowledge that you just don't get every day uh, for free. Now, uh, what right. I mean by free is it's right at your fingertips. Just take the bowl and run with it, you know, but 
you, you've got to do your homework. You've got to watch. You've got to put the time in if you want to succeed. So that's exactly what I did. I've watched hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos of Asphalt Kingdom and you um, just preaching and telling. And I took notes after notes. I mean, as you see, I got I got notes here. You know what I mean? It's just they're they're everywhere. You know what I mean? So um, but again, yeah, I, I didn't know absolutely nothing about the the whole complete industry of how it worked or where is this or where you get that or how is this done or anything like that. Okay, and so take us back. Your first job that you ever did. Tell us about that very first job that you did. <laughs> My first job I did was a fifteen thousand square foot parking lot. So, and it was oh. so bad. It was so bad, and I was so I was so scared to even to step foot on this because I didn't know what I was doing. You know what I mean? I knew what I was doing up in my mind, but to put it to the ground, I didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? I, I really didn't know how to bid anything because I was my first job. So I went ahead. Uh, I would rather start on a, a residential driveway to get the groove of everything. And so I went ahead and jumped in on this. And um, an actually job like that is, you know, um, six, seven hour job. Okay. Yeah. Well, it turned in two days for me because I had no idea of what I should do or what process I should take, you know, whether, you know, you pull in, you hit boots to the ground. And then first thing, you know, your crack router and your, your weed whipping and your blowing. And so I was doing everything backwards and backwards and backwards because I didn't know. So, but two days later, um, it turned out good. I was impressed with my first job. Wow. How much was the first job? Uh, the first job was $5,100. $5,100. Wow, $5, man. And, and your, co your cost on that job would have been a few grand or a couple yeah, grand? Uh, I think it was, my, the, I think the cost was like 2,100 bucks. Something wow. like that. I don't actually remember, but it was something like 2,100 or something like that. So you go out, you do your first job, you still make over a thousand a day on your first job. 100%. And, and so how long ago is this? This is 21 months ago. <laughs> okay, everybody. Okay, you got to listen to this, okay? Because this this for me is where Rodney Hilton is this lighthouse. I'm, I'm tattooed with a lighthouse on my arm. And, and so it, lighthouses mean a lot to me. Strong, stand tall, majestic, shine light for everybody. And so I want to, I want to, I want everybody to understand this. So 21 months ago, you do your very first job for $5,100. Correct. And this year, what was your biggest job? 21 months later, what was the biggest job that you did this year? 270,000 square foot parking lot. Can you mention the price of that job? 110,000. Okay, so now we've got the first job and we've got the biggest job 21 months later, okay, less than two years, because I remember the day you started. Right. 21 months later, these are the this is this is the difference. And everything else in between, because I know there's a lot of jobs that were that are five thousand, a lot of ten, a lot of twenty, a lot of fifteens, a lot of right. and but in between the time that you've done the first job and the time that you did your last job this season, are you still working or are you? Uh, we just started uh, winterizing everything. So we're. Yeah. Right. So you start 21 months ago, $5,100 job. Now you're at the end of 2022 and you're reflecting over the last 21 months of what you've been able to build and establish. And I see, like, I see, let me see the logo on your shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I see a logo on the back wall. Oh, yes. Yes. Memo. And, and I call your, your phone number. And when I call your phone number, you've got a, a recording that is phenomenal, professionally done. Right. Express Asphalt Solutions. And you've got it's it's laid out nicely. Nice, nice articulation. Right. The wording is well put. And you got somebody to record that for you. Yes, I paid a service uh, to do that. And it mentions the website and everything else you know, spells everything out so they can leave the message and go to the website. So now imagine that, and the marketing's there, you've got your social media up, you've got your, you've got your stuff. That's all, you watch the videos. So you've done yes. a bunch of this stuff and you've, yes. you've applied what you've learned 
and you're you look back 21 months and you're looking at this growth brother i am in awe as to how fast you have built because i remember being on the round table the ak round table that we host Very every wednesday at seven like literally a year ago right and i remember you speaking on what because we just launched it you were you were the exactly. first with me on the round right. table and we started speaking about it because you would have only been less than a year into it by then i was um eight months eight months and so i'm i'm looking at that and i'm going holy crap ronnie you, you you're doing paving correct you're doing commercial seal coating for accounts that are national accounts yes you have a business that is thriving with staff and equipment and assets and you're also distributing sealer yes what do you for i know you give us a lot of credit and you put a light on us but the reality of it is there's more to it than that it takes a lot more to it than just that so i i really desire to hear what was it what was it during this period of the last 21 months that that was what was it that like if you were going to give advice to somebody that's on this path of building a business what's the best piece of advice that you would give them hard work hard work don't stop always keep focus forward stay positive treat others the way you want to be treated your workers everything um but you you got to put the hours in without the hours being put in you're, you're going to hit a, a dead end if you put the hours in then you're going to flourish straight down the road this so you know andy for andy frizzell is a guy i follow he's like a motivational speaker and he's right. he did the 75 hard program and all that mm -hmm. stuff he says you gotta get obsessed you do like obsessed and is that what happened with you you got obsessed i i got obsessed with the business by knowing um what was in it and and then before you know it you're just obsessed and you're working every day and you're putting these long hours in to succeed because I, I don't fail. Whatever I touch, I succeed because I don't give up. So, um, so I, I took it over a little bit overboard, but that's just me. You know what I mean? That's my personality. You know, when I start something, I finish it, you know? So I work, you know, 18 to 20 hours a day, um, every single day. Um, unless I have something, you know, that comes up that I have to do. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, I, I got obsessed with the business by seeing what was in it and, and what was in the, the end result uh, to do, you know. So there's so much that you can pay forward in this business. It is just ridiculous. You know what I mean? I love going out to these properties. I love talking to these, um, the, the, the homeowners and um the, the business owners and, and just seeing them and explaining to them what's wrong with the pavement and and you know what am i going to do step by step by step by step and and what's the, the 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 pros and the cons and seeing it from now until after i get done with it and they come out and see it's completely crisp nice black nice sealed whether we had the patch, we cut out patches, we put patches in, you know, crack seal around the patches. And then in the end, uh, we line stripe them. And then, um, and then that's it. Brother, I, I, I'm on your Facebook page, your yep. business page right now, because I, I want people to see this, man. Like, here's, here's the thing that strikes me the most about you. And one of the reasons why, you know, some people... I believe in God, um, you know, whatever you might believe in, right? Like I, I right. really, I really do. And, and the reason why is because, I mean, you go to your page and you see on behalf of myself and Express Asphalt Solutions, we'll be giving back to our community. And we are pleased to announce that our first annual Feed the Hungry Holiday Dinner will be taking place on Friday, 23rd, December 23rd at 5.30, the American Legion posts. So if anyone knows anyone that will not have a holiday dinner, please, Brother, this to me is such an incredible thing. And the reason why is I truly believe that the more successful that we are as business owners, the more we can give back. Absolutely. 
And so when I see this come across my feed on Facebook, because of course we're good friends on, on Facebook and outside, but like when I see this come through, you're a lighthouse, man. You're shining the light so bright, brother. Thank you for being such a leader and such a such an incredible human. It's uh, the world needs more of you, man. And uh, that's something really, really special. So on behalf of everybody watching right now, thank you for thank like thank you genuinely for for what you what you do. You're very that's, welcome. That's huge. I want to share this too, because I want people to see like as they're watching this right now, I want them to see what you've built man and and you've got you've got hot boxes yes we have hot boxes yeah we have hot boxes crack melters you know skid steers i mean that's our box truck that's our sealed truck there it's one of them um that's just the all the equipment trailers we have 10 trucks now um i just bought some triaxles uh for the paving side you know there's the rollers and stuff like that I mean, it is really incredible to see what you have built, brother. And everybody wear everybody wearing their the brand, everybody wearing t-shirts. Yes, I try to be, you know what I mean? I try to tell the tell the guys, hey, look, you gotta wear, you know, you gotta come branded and all this. Man, this is just absolutely awesome. So, so how many people at the height of this season, how many people did you have working on your team with you? Eight. It's incredible, Roddy. I'm I'm just like I'm I'm so impressed with what you've built because I'll tell you and and people watching, I I want to say this that what you've done is not the norm. You've grown you've grown your business rapidly through being obsessed and and and, and really committed committed to yourself to not go down the road of failure, right. but to prove right. to yourself because there's really one there's really one person that is is the biggest challenge or the biggest competition. It's the one person, right? Mm -hmm. It's yourself. Absolutely. It's, it's and that that to me is something that I look in the mirror. That's what I fear the most every day is failure. I don't want to fail. Right. I won't fail. Yeah. I won't fail. Exactly. I won't let myself fail. I just Either I don't, I. I, don't uh, I don't look back. You know what I mean? Because when you start second guessing yourself, that's when failure creeps up on you. So if there was one thing that you would, um, one thing that you would advise to somebody that is in the business right now, that's let's say a year into it, cause you're at 21 months, if they're a year into it and they already know that they're, they're thriving with what it is that they have, what would be your best recommendation to somebody who's a year in right now? Keep focused, keep stepping, step forward. Just always keep pushing forward. Don't because get comfortable correct because when you do you get stagnant and then that's when everything creeps up behind you you know you Brother. can't you can't you can't stay in one in one uh area you got to keep going and going and going and going and, and when your phone calls stop that's when you start knocking stop here knock the door stop here go into this you know uh business and hey drop off some some literature to them you know we got uh i've got i've got all kinds of literature watch this this is i love this man you've got stuff you've got you've got all your marketing i just love this yeah so, so this is one that you know um i go ahead and drop off to some also this is this is a uh another postcard uh, this is another postcard same thing different uh this is a residential commercial uh, and then um i got the trifold um stating what we do um wow. exactly what we do and then it's got the examples of the line striping and paving and patch repair and you know because we are a uh, a pavement asset management company um yeah. when <laughs> yes when somebody yes. says hey you know what do you do for a living you know we're a pavement asset management company because we do more than just seal code or we do more than just line stripe or we do you know so um i go out and try to get these lined up so we can have these customers every single month whether a pothole comes up it's free of charge we charge them one set fee each month and that's on us or if a line stripe starts fading we make them look crisp again 
um, seal coating once every other year into the uh, that's into the contract. Um, and, and so on. You know, you know how much it makes my heart sing to hear you say payment asset management. You know how much my heart sings. That's see that. I do. Payment management. I do. Yeah. So um, it, it, it's no, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of work, but the work is so rewarding when you can see the, the, the views on these people's uh, the customers faces from grins to, Oh my gosh, I can't believe this looks so good. And, you know, uh, right before our last job that we did, um, I went and did a line striping job and it turned out unbelievable. The lines was crisp. And I mean, and as you know, it, you know, when you're on a line striper, anything can happen, <laughs> but when you're on the concrete, you better make sure your equipment's up because you've got one chance and one chance only, you know? So we uh, went ahead and line striped this whole complete concrete parking lot, but it came out flawless. So. This is, this is, this is a lot. You, you crack sealed, you seal coated and striped exactly. right here. Yes. That's a high rise that we did. Um, we crack sealed that crack router or yeah, that's how it looked before we crack routed all the cracks seal or crack wow. sealed that one, seal coated it. And, uh, line stripe that yeah there's goes yep all the way on the look side. at look at look at the way everybody look at this check this out look at that right there and look at this right now boom right. that's what i call that's what i call a complete facelift a restoration but you know this is a, such an important topic because for people watching you know <laughs> and you 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 said it rod it's like okay so you can be an asphalt mean and <laughs> there you go boom <laughs> <laughs> so this is so this is uh one of the um uh, vinyls that i have done because i do a lot of uh marketing outside marketing of, of festivals and um concert series we got outside concert series here and yeah that's the exact one right there and uh that's um, awesome so i got this 10 by 10 uh trade show <laughs> tent that i set up and then you know i have all these set up and i sit down there and i sell jobs unbelievable down there that's awesome, man. That's incredible. Yeah, no, sorry so, for interrupting you. No, not at all. I love it. I love it. We're freestyling. We're freestyling. It's great. Um, so when I look at this job right here, I'm seeing one that came from this old looking kind of pavement asset that was really starting to to decay. It right. was in a it was deteriorating on fast track four. Yes. And yes. And so you come in and you do this reactive repair. This reactive repair is sealing all the cracks, preventing the water from getting in, eroding the foundation, leading to potholes. And you're going to go ahead and make sure that that's all sealed up. And then you're going to seal coat the whole surface to protect it from the elements outdoors as well as the traffic. And you're going to stripe it. So the reactive maintenance, or sorry, the reactive repairs brought it to a point of being what I call rejuvenated. You are in a state of restoration. Absolutely. Now, now we have an opportunity to be able to manage the asset for the life of the asset, which is exactly what Express Asphalt Solutions does, because you're not just there to do the reactive, you're there to do the proactive right. management of the asset for the lifespan of the asphalt. And then when they need replacement on that asphalt, who are they going to call? Express. To do what? Take care of it. And once it's needing replacement, who's going to do it? Express. Bingo. You are a pavement asset management company right. and nobody needs to think about their asphalt anymore because right. they trust Rodney Hilton. They trust Express Asphalt Solutions and their team to just take care of it because you're not out there ripping people off. You're out there doing great work, great quality work at the right price and delivering the value people are looking for. Yes, sir. No, no wonder you're successful. Correct. Now, if people follow those footsteps that we're talking about right now, do you think they'd be successful as well? 100% period absolutely they will yeah so one last question if you don't mind and then i know you're you you've got you've got uh you got your evening there so i don't want to take too much of your time but one last question if you if you had one wish for our industry what would that be that whoever's in this industry would hold this industry on high to make our industry flourish and be professionalism with it because a lot of people, um, I've come across a lot of people 
and saying, yeah, I've, I've already had quotes on this and they're taking advantage of me and all of this and all that. Then you just got to say, listen, you know, I can't speak for that company. I can speak for this company. And then what I tell them is, hey, go online before you make any decision. I want you to go online, look at my website, look at my jobs. Everything you need to know is on my website from pictures to videos to explain everything, what I'm explaining to you now, you get explained on the website, breaks down. And I said, that's the type of company you want to go with. Now, if somebody comes in here, they don't have a website, you know, I mean, not saying they won't do good work, but, but yes, definitely hold this industry up to high regards. So your wish, by the way, is my wish as well. And that's why we are here right now to help improve the industry and throttle it forward, to make it more attractive for hires, to make it more attractive for facility managers, property managers, and owners. The more that we can share amongst each other and within the communities that we're developing together, we end up in a situation where we're going to make this industry better. And so I, I have a request to the viewer right now is that as you decide whether or not you're moving forward with this or you're already in it, Make sure that you're dealing with the industry in the most professional level to represent the industry as, as a together type community, not just for yourself or the own greed of your pocket. It has to be bigger than that. The drive and purpose needs to be much bigger than just the bank account. It has Absolutely. to be much bigger. Um, I'm Rodney, I'm, I'm looking at your, at your website too. And it's like, this just goes to show you, you've done everything that you were supposed to do. Your social media is up over here. You've got everything that is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And no wonder you are thriving, brother. I am so, I, I, could, I just could not be more proud of you. And I really hope that you're able to, to be proud of yourself and pat yourself on the back during the slower time as we get towards the Christmas season and really reflect, man. Um, just, I, I'm, I'm really proud of you, brother. Like, really thanks. I really appreciate that coming from a person like you that, that is a lighthouse, you know, that's, that means a, a lot to me. Um, and again, like I said, if it wasn't for you, there would be you no know, express asphalt solutions doing anything, or we wouldn't be here talking. Wow. Uh, I'm, I think I think that I think that what we what we try to do on our end is we try to ignite a little a little flame. But at the end of the day, it's that flame that you that was lit. That flame is just getting fueled constantly by the most powerful fuel, which is your passion, your desire, oh, yeah. dedication and your your persistence to to build something magnificent. And and now you're paying it forward to other people and you're. I mean, you're you're doing this this food situation where you're cooking food during the holidays and giving it to the hungry. I mean, brother, my heart's singing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I just want to cool. pay it forward, just like you paid it forward to me. I just want to keep paying it forward. On that note, let's let's end with that. Pay it forward. Maybe somebody watching right now. There's somebody that might be hungry. Somebody that might need a a pat on the back or maybe some inspiration to move towards something that that has more light. Um, nobody wants to feel alone. And I can tell you with our communities, you're not alone. And the thing is, I mean, just the little the little things you do, it will 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 make huge strides into somebody's life. You know, like at the end of every year, how or whatever, how many uh, gallons of sealer we have left, um, we donate it to the senior citizens or the um, vets. So um, every year we usually have sealer left over, you know, for the last two years. And then uh, we just go out and do a senior citizen's driveway with that. And then I just go ahead and throw the crack, crack seal and everything else in on that. And then, um, then that usually takes care of it. You are a beautiful human, Mr. Hilton. You're a beautiful beautiful human um i look forward to meeting you in person uh, giving you a hug again and uh you know seeing you soon man absolutely. you're gonna be you got you going to the uh, np oh yeah absolutely we're also doing something in florida i don't know if you heard about it did you hear about what we're doing no i did not yeah so march 3rd to the 6th we're gonna be in astor florida uh just around ocala area and i'm going in for two days of sales and marketing uh one day intensive that i'm hosting okay. and then the day after is in the field training in a in a parking lot at chip stewart's place where oh, we're awesome. going to be doing a bunch of different booths it would be freaking awesome to have you come down for that yeah, absolutely we'll just get the dates make sure
I love it. All right, cool. And we'll see you on the round table on, uh, at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, hopefully, if you can make Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right, brother. Well, thank I appreciate you. you very, very much. And, uh, and thanks again for everything. You're incredible. Thank you so much. All right, brother. See you. Bye-bye. If you like this video, go ahead and check out this video or check out this video. And don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe right here below.